Okay, welcome back to the channel, Hobby One Kenobi. We're continuing work on the Tamiya Gamma Goat M561, and there was something here that I wanted to scratch build, just didn't look quite right. And if you can look here on the decal sheet, where we have the control panel dials, this was basically what they were expecting you to do, was put this decal on the control panel, and then that depicted what the actual control panel looks like on this vehicle. That's not the case, actually. They should have uh, dial covers. And so you can see here on the same photo, I've started to add little holes, drill little holes and line them up where dials are on the decal sheet. And now you can see I'm starting to enlarge the holes to again, ensure that I have proper alignment. You'll also notice at this point that I'm starting to create a little bit of a lip around each of these holes. And that is going to be uh, depicting exactly how this um, these dial covers look on the vehicle. Here's a picture of the vehicle where I'm just supposed to drop down the decal and leave it. I work with my circular file and I start to open the holes up even more to accept the size of, of the decal dials as well as still continuing to create this sort of rim, this lip around the holes themselves. This was a process that you know I was really, really careful with. I didn't want to do it a second time. I just really kind of took my time on the first one. I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. And as you can see here, I'm, I've started to spray some primer and I'm really starting to align the, the decals. And uh, you can look now, there's a picture now with the dial cover uh, that has been fitted. It's been cut out, it's been fitted uh, very carefully into position and I'm just about ready to apply the decal and then apply the cover. Applying the decal is something I want to kind of take care of kind of quickly uh, so that I can make sure that the cover is fitting over the uh, dials well. So I, I wanted to do sort of both at the same time. So let's follow along in the video here. I'm starting to work with the decal, get the decal into position. And I'm just eyeing it. I'm just trying to move the collection of dials into what looks like the right spot. And then very quickly here, I'm going to drop the dial cover into the spot. And again, make sure that they're in the right place. Once I'm confident that the decals are in the right spot, I'm going to apply decal setting solution and just kind of make sure everything's in the right place. At this point, I've added just a little bit of uh, PVA glue on the back side of the panel, and that should just be enough for it to stay in place. That does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe. Uh, please hit that bell to get notified of future videos. Thanks again. Bye.